Hey, everyone. Follow up on the wristband situation. Who boy, I did not think this through, did I? Uh, I should know. I should know a lot of you out there are like me, right? If it's free, it's for me. Yes, please, and I'll take three. So a lot of you have been writing. So many of you that my inbox has exploded. It's okay. It's okay. That's why I did this. I wanted to, again, just, I don't want to just dumpster all these extra wristbands. I'd want to get them in your hands. I have been trying to get responses back to each and every one of you. A lot of you are getting kind of a form letter at this point. Uh, if you did include a shipping address, great. That puts you ahead of the curve. Some of you did not. Please feel free to follow up with me, as I have said. That's the only way I can get you stuff. A couple very helpful people said, where do I mail you a self-addressed stamped envelope? I'm not a contest giveaway like that. No, just, it's fine. Uh, I will just drop things in the mail. Other people have definitely said, please, how do I give you money? Uh, which my response has been that is really not necessary. Like, it's, a, it's a, an envelope and a couple of stamps. I'm only sending out a few hundred of these, right? It will be fine. If you really, really want to, I mean, you can follow up later for, for a buck. Like, I'd rather you just give lunch to a homeless person. But uh, please, please, please don't try to give me anything yet, especially before I've even gotten stuff to you. That's, that's not the direction. Uh, money should work. Things should work. I, this channel is about me giving you stuff. But a really cool follow-up. Many of you have asked, hey, what about this style of, like, fabric wristband? What, what about that idea for tampering? I'm glad you asked. So if you ever have one of these, you know, again, swim clubs, bars, conferences, I've seen these in use. I like these more. They're much more comfortable on my arm. Doesn't mean I want to keep wearing them when I go to sleep at night. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and slide that right off of there. How did I do that? Well, if you're not familiar with the technology used on those little clasps, of which there are a ton, I'm going to order them and play with them. I've ordered a bunch of the little snaps as well. I'm going to try to make more of these available to people who want them. But for the little uh, slidey boys like that, have a look at how you tamper with those. It's even easier. Yeah, fabric wristbands. If you're not familiar with these, they slide one way and allegedly don't slide the other way. This one's not affixed to anything, so if we pull that off of there, you can see the way they do it, right? It's a series of just little one-way looking teeth, right? You got these little zapper jaws and they bite into the fabric if you try to pull it the other direction. There's a couple ways we can mess with this. So if this is already on your wrist, best way to tamper with it, get a drinking straw, okay? We're gonna cut this down. If you, if you don't carry travel scissors, I love this pair. Again, you know, none of my links are sponsored, but I'll throw this down there. These are about as compact as you can get, and uh, Fiskars makes these. I don't know if you know scissors, but they're a fine, fine company. All right. And with the straw pulled through like that, you have half a chance of then blocking all of those teeth. I sometimes will even peel back a little bit so it doesn't pull back the other way and slide it right off. Now we're not getting both sides off, but we've got enough that we can get one piece off and that is really all you need. Once it's off of you, you pull it out. But you really wanna, you wanna wear this. You wanna get into the country club party, the pool, the free bar, what have you. So what can we do? It's actually really simple. You don't have to carve or cut these teeth out. I've seen people digging in there with knives and ballpoint pens and everything else. No, judicious application of a little bit of fire. Now we don't wanna burn our fingertips, so we've got a little TSA safe, always in my carry-on bag, micro tool here. Let's go ahead and apply some heat. A little bit, a little bit. We're not trying to melt the whole thing. But what we are doing is rolling back the sharpness. See that, those little beads on the ends now? The sharp tips are going away. All right, we got her back on here. It'll get tighter, but also it'll get looser. There you go, on, off, on, off, on, off. Now it's not perfect, again, it still has a little bit of grab, but you kind of want that. You don't want these to just go slipping off, flying off when you're rolling down the water slides or whatever the hell it is you're, you're doing. But yeah, absolutely, we can still slip this right out of there. There you go, all right. Well, there you go. That is how to tamper with these little fabric wristbands. So I hope you enjoy that kind of thing. Try it out. Again, don't do this to try to get somewhere that you shouldn't really be that's dangerous, and hopefully nobody's using these as actual security tokens in a situation like that. 
This is just because, what, you want to stay at the water slides a little bit after the time of your session is over. Uh, go ahead and try to look later on. I will make a lot of these clasps available if you want to build your own, you know, field kits. Like, again, I have my, my nippers here. I have a, a series of those extra little snaps. I'm going to try to order more of those from China. If you want to play with this kind of stuff or anything else, I'm always here with questions you may have. Good luck to you. Uh, I know the world is a really kind of scary place right now, and that really sucks. So look out for one another. We are the ones who keep ourselves safe. In the meantime, try to find a little levity. Try to find some project to occupy you. That's why I'm doing this, quite frankly. Try to do something to distract yourselves from the fact that the, the world is uncertain. But we are here for one another, and I'm here for you. All right. I'm not going to stop talking. I gotta, I'm not home yet. I will get all the envelopes when I get home, I promise. In the meantime, just uh, do your best to stay safe out there, okay?